Bethel kids, I'm so excited because today we are starting a whole new series. It's called To the Cross. Now we've been spending a lot of time reading the Bible and learning about Jesus' life on earth. Everything he did, his teachings about God and his kingdom, and how he healed people and performed miracles, they all led up to this last week of his life on earth. So in this new series, we're gonna focus on Jesus' last week, and we're going to answer this very important question. Are you ready for it? Okay, here it is. What did Jesus do to save us? Now some of you might already know the answer, but let's pay close attention each week to learn more about the answer to this big picture question. So as Jesus grew more popular with the regular people living in Israel, he grew more hated by the religious leaders. They even wanted to kill him. And that's where our story picks up. You'll find it in the Bible, in Matthew 21, Mark 11, Luke 19, and John 12. Let's learn more. It was time to celebrate Passover, a special time to remember how God had freed his people from slavery in Egypt. Many Israelites had traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate God's amazing rescue. Jesus and his disciples were among the people who traveled to Jerusalem. When they neared Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead into a village. As soon as you enter the village, Jesus told them, you will find a young donkey tied there. No one has ever sat on it. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it. The disciples did as Jesus asked. As they untied the donkey, its owners asked why. The Lord needs it, they said. Then they brought the donkey to Jesus, threw their robes onto the donkey and helped Jesus get onto it. People spread their robes along the road for Jesus, and others spread palm branches cut from the fields. The whole crowd praised God with a loud voice for all the miracles they had seen. Hosanna, they said. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. The word Hosanna means save now. The people welcomed Jesus as their promised king. They hoped he would save them from the Romans. Some religious leaders asked Jesus to tell his disciples to be quiet. Jesus answered, if they did not praise me, the rocks would praise me. While Jesus was in the temple complex, people who were blind and people who were lame came to him. Jesus healed them. The blind and lame would not have been allowed to worship in the temple. Other religious leaders saw Jesus' miracle and heard the children saying, Hosanna to the son of David. They were very angry and asked Jesus, Do you hear what these children are saying? They were saying Jesus is the king. Yes, Jesus told them. The writer of the Psalms had said, You have prepared praise from the mouths of children and nursing infants. Jesus left them and went to the town of Bethany. To spend the night. During Jesus' triumphal entry, the people welcomed him as king. Jesus was the Messiah spoken about by the prophet Zechariah. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. One day, Jesus will return to earth on a white horse as king over everything.
one of her favorite cult songs called My Best Friend. something. Maybe a competition or a big game. Or maybe it was a time you learned a really difficult skill. 
riding your bike by yourself, scoring your first goal, tying your shoes by yourself, or maybe pouring a glass of milk without spilling a single drop. How did you feel in those moments? Now, triumph is a word that means to succeed or win or overcome. And today, Jesus, when he traveled to Jerusalem, his arrival caused people to celebrate and sing praises. People welcomed Jesus to Jerusalem as their king. And it's known as the triumphal entry because the people of Israel thought it was proof that Jesus had come to triumph over his enemies. They shouted Hosanna and worshiped Jesus because they thought that he would defeat the Romans, kick them back to Rome, and give the promised land back to God's people. But Jesus came to be an even better kind of king. Jesus' kingdom is a heavenly kingdom, and he is our heavenly king. What did Jesus do to save us? Well, Jesus lived a sinless life died on the cross, and rose from the dead. Sin and death were defeated. Everyone who has faith in Jesus is forgiven and made new. And when Jesus returns, he's going to set up his forever kingdom and we get to live forever with God. So during Jesus' triumphal entry, the people welcomed him as king. Jesus was the Messiah that was spoken about by the prophet Zechariah. In the Bible it says, look, your king is coming to you. He's righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, on the foal of the donkey. Now one day Jesus will return to earth, but he'll come on a white horse as king over everything. It's gonna be so good. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you so much for sending Jesus as our king. And we thank you for this story of Jesus's triumphal entry. We know that he wasn't the king that they expected. Um, Jesus, you are so much more than that. You are our savior. You died for us to save us from our sins so that we could be with you forever. And we thank you so much for that. And we love you. In your name we pray, amen. Well, I hope you had fun today. I know I did, and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,